Until Core Set 2010, Magic had a Mana Burn rule. Today, if you have extra mana that goes to waste, it just disappears. But with Mana Burn, you take a damage for each wasted mana, and this had a pretty big impact on some cards. For example, Piracy. Under today's rule, the card does pretty much nothing. If you cast it, your opponent will probably just tap all their lands so you can't use their lands to cast your spells. But when Mana Burn was a thing, it was much better. If your opponent tapped all their mana in response, they'd probably take a bunch of damage from Mana Burn unless they could use that mana at instant speed or take Spectral Searchlight. Today, it's mostly a political tool that you can use in Commander, but when it was printed, it could actually be your finisher. If you didn't need to use the mana it produced, you could just wait till your opponent's end step, give them a mana, trust that they couldn't use it at instant speed and burn them for a damage. On the other hand, some cards improve with the end of mana burn, like Su Chi, for example, a colorless 4-4 for 4, 4, 4 was way above the curve for its era, but making 4 mana when it dies was a drawback. Odds are you wouldn't be able to spend it and you'd take 4 damage, but in today's mana burnless world, Su Chi is all upside. Can you think of any other cards ruined by the rules change? Let me know in the comments.